It is a joy to be with you this morning. I have met with Padre Carlos and Esperanza. They tell me about the good things that are happening here at San Cristobal. I'm excited about what has happened with the renovation of the daycare center. And how God is using this church to serve this community. It's a message to us in terms of what they do. Because what they're saying is what is important in life is caring for people in need. Watching out for one another. Standing with one another when we get in trouble. Uno al otro en Rejoicing with each other when something wonderful happens. Algo bueno pasa. Learning how to be friends. Y como ser Because Jesus says that's what he expects of his disciples. Dice, es de nosotros, sus See, the world says something very different. El mundo dice algo bien What the world says is to make enough money and to, no matter what it costs, no matter how many people you hurt, so that you are financially secure. Jesus never says that. In fact, he says that the world and all of its riches is going to pass away. And when we stand before God at the day of judgment, he will not ask how much money we made. He will say, did you love each other? I was sick and you visited me. I was naked and you clothed me. You came to see me when I was in prison. Those are the things that Jesus asks of his disciples. That is what matters in life according to what God says. But we live in a world that does not understand that kind of behavior. When Paul says to live honorably, which is what was read in the le lesson for moments, that's what he means, to live unselfishly. Unselfishly. <laughs> to be kind. Bueno al to care for other people, even if it costs you something. Al prójimo, este, hasta si te algo a ti Because kindness and unselfishness is often inconvenient. Some people ask things of us that we don't always want to give. So we need to ask God to give us the strength to serve even when it is inconvenient. Because you see, that's how God loves us. He always has time for us. He always listens to us when we talk to him. He never says, don't talk to me right now, I don't have time for you. No, because he is love. He always makes room to listen. He gives to us because he loves us. Advent as a season is a time that reminds us that the world's selfishness is passing away. Adviento como una época, como una etapa de la iglesia, es un tiempo que nos recuerda que este, 
selfishness está pasando y, este, y, no, y no va a seguir. The word advent means appear. Adviento significa parecerse, aparecer. Because we think about a time when Jesus will come back and all will be made right. The scripture says we don't know what day that is going to happen. So the gospel lesson tells us to be ready. Which means don't let God catch you do something that you do not want him to see. Y eso significa no deje que Dios te encuentre haciendo algo que tú no quieres que Él te vea haciendo. Instead, be ready. En vez, esté preparado. Be ready to serve. Esté preparado para servir. Be ready to love. Esté preparados para amar. Be ready to care. Preparados a tener um, cuidado del, del prójimo. Be ready to give. Preparados a dar. Because, remember, that's how Jesus treats us. Jesus does not ask us to do anything that we haven't already seen in his life here on earth. He shows us the way. Even when it cost him everything. His death on the cross is a demonstration of his love. So it may be that if you are to love others, it might ask you to sacrifice. But that's what Jesus does for us. That's what Jesus is doing for us even right now. He is always giving to us whether we are conscious of it or not. So to commit your life to Jesus is to say, I want to be a part of what you are doing. Yo ser parte de lo que tú haces. I want to be available to serve because I know that you are serving me. Estar a tú me a mí. I want to be available to love other people because you are loving me. I want to be available to give to other people because you are giving to me. That's what it means to be a Christian. Eso es lo que ser it's not just that you believe that Jesus is the Son of God. That that is demonstrated in your life. Pero que eso es en tu vida. By who you are. Por lo que eres. And what you do. Por lo que haces. Sometimes people will not understand that. Veces, gente no va a eso. I, I told the candidates for confirmation Le dije a los para that what will happen when they come up to be confirmed que lo que va a pasar se vengan para ser is that I will put my hands on their head and that's a prayer for God's protection because we need God's protection in our lives. The second thing I will do is take some oil and make the sign of the cross on their foreheads. Oil is always a symbol for the Holy Spirit. So I'm praying for the Holy Spirit to touch them. The third thing that I do is that I give them a slight slap on the cheek. The, the slap on the cheek means trouble. Because sometimes serving Jesus means you might get into trouble. Because you're giving to people in a way that others do not understand. But you're committed to doing it anyway because that's what Jesus is doing for you. His loving and serving you sent him to the cross. 
el amor de él y el servir de, de él a ti lo mandó a la cruz. So you are saying, I am willing to serve Jesus even if I get in trouble. Y, y eso dice, yo voy a servir a Cristo aunque me cause problemas. So these are making a new commitment of their life to Christ. Ellos están haciendo este, un nuevo commitment a su vida con Cristo. But you also will be making a similar commitment by the, com by the promises that you will make in the liturgy. You will be saying, I am ready to serve because Jesus is serving me. Even as we know that in the end, Our service will be what matters to God, not the other things that we do. Aunque al fin sabemos que es nuestro servicio a Dios lo que lo importa, no lo demás que hacemos en nuestra vida. The message of Advent El mensaje del viento is serve Jesus knowing that he is coming. Es servir a Cristo sabiendo que Él viene, que Él va a regresar. These are willing to say, and we will say together, ellos están disponibles, están disponibles, disponibles a decir, nosotros vamos a decir juntos. That we are serving Jesus. Que estamos sirviendo a Jesucristo. Not just because he is coming. No solamente porque él va a regresar. But because he loves us. Porque él nos ama. He forgives él us. Él nos perdona. He understands our weakness and our hardships. Él entiende nuestros weaknesses y las cosas que nos, nos encontramos. And he promises to be with us. Y él promete estar con nosotros. No matter what happens in life. No importando lo que nos pasa en nuestra vida. It never gets too hard for him. Nunca es difícil para él. Because he went to the cross. Porque él fue a la cruz. He understands the worst that can happen in life. Él entiende lo peor en que nos podemos encontrar nosotros en la vida. And he promises to never leave you or to walk away and forsake you. Y en eso él nos promete nunca dejarnos y abandonarnos. So today we are making a commitment to him. Hoy hacemos un compromiso con él, knowing that he will never let us go. Que él nunca nos va a so, let us pray together. Dear Lord, Padre nuestro, we thank you that you gave everything to us. That your son loves us. Que tu hijo nos ama, and he will never let us go. Y él nunca nos va a Help us to give all of ourselves to you. Ayúdanos a entregarnos completamente a ti. And serve others. Y para servir a, a los, a, al prójimo. In the same way that you serve us. En la misma manera que tú nos sirve a nosotros. To forgive others. A perdonar al prójimo. In the same way that you forgive us. En la misma manera que tú nos perdonas a nosotros. To love others. Al amar al prójimo. In the same way that you love us. En la misma manera que tú nos amas a nosotros. For we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.